So today I'm uh, making the Falling Leaves Ripple Cowl. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a diagram, uh, a crochet diagram to crochet. This pattern is kind of complicated, so I find that it's a whole lot easier to follow a diagram with it because of all of the different stitches that are in it. So first, um, the very first row here that you're going to see right here, this is actually not a row, it's the foundation chain. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven chains in all. So you can see each one of these little kind of oval oval pieces here, circle little circles, is counts as a chain. So I will just show you. I've already chain the 27 chains. I'm going to go ahead and put my crochet hook in. So if you look at the pattern right here, so we have these first, the last three chains here are going to count as the first double crochet. And then we're going to do three double crochets together into the first three chains. So this will actually all together will count as a double crochet four together. So the way you make, what you start with is you start like you're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain into the fourth chain from the hook because this is the one, two, three, fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and start my double crochet because I'm doing a double crochet four, three together so they'll be joined at the top. So I'm only going to do like the bottom half of the double crochet and I keep a loop on my hook and I'm going to yarn over go into the next chain yarn over and pull through and I have three chains on my hook and I'm going to yarn over the one last time so put it in the next chain pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and then I have four chains left on my hook so we're making a DC3 together with these three and this is the last one that was on here there's always going to be one more chain on your hook than the number of stitches you're making. So I pull through and that's going to complete the top of the double crochet where they're all joined together. Okay, so then after that we chain one and we do a double crochet in the next chain, then we chain one and do a double crochet in the next chain. You can see that we're not skipping chains on the foundation chain. So I chain one I do a double in the very next chain. Chain one and a double in the next chain. So as you can see each of these lines here that's got like a bar at the top and a bar in the middle that's called that's a, a symbol for a double crochet. All right, now we're going to do a, a little V stitch here, which uh, is an, a little increase. So it's going to be a double crochet in in the chain, then a single, then just a chain stitch, and then another double crochet in the same um, chain. So I'm going to start my double crochet and just do a regular double crochet stitch. And I'm going to chain one. Some of this yarn out of the way and do another double crochet into the same chain, which forms a V stitch. And then anytime you do more than one stitch in the same stitch or the same chain, you're increasing. Okay, so now we do the same thing like we did before. We're going to do a chain, one chain, a double crochet in this next chain, another chain, and a double crochet in the next chain, just doing over two chains. So I do a chain. And I do a double crochet in the next chain on the foundation chain. And then a chain and one more double crochet. And those chains that I'm putting in there actually are, are count kind of like a little increases too because they're extra stitches that weren't on the, the beginning chain. 
All right, so now we're going to chain one again. This is still on the same row. You can see that these, this whole row is kind of a pinkish red color. That means all of these stitches go together. The next row is black. That helps you distinguish between the two rows. All right, so I'm going to do a chain and one chain, and then I'm going to do a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven DC crochet together, or double crochet together. They're all going to join at the top. So I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to be doing it over the next seven chains on the foundation row. So it's the same thing like we did that DC3 together, uh, the DC7 together is the same thing. You're going to only be doing the bottom part of the double crochet seven times, and then you're going to join it all at the top. So I start with the first one, just do the bottom part, then I yarn over, go into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. Now we have three on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through. And I have four on the hook. We're going to do this until we have eight on the hook because remember we always have one more chain than we have stitches that we're doing. We're doing a DC seven. So I'm on the next one. And the next one. Yarn's getting all tangled up here. Let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got two more to go. Yarn over. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Insert the hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the hook. So we're ready to do our final pull through. So you're going to yarn over and we're going to pull this through all eight of those chains there. Makes one great big stitch all joined at the top. All right, so now we're going to chain one again. We're going to do a double crochet in the next chain, chain again, double crochet in the next chain. Excuse me, I'm sniffling. I don't know if y'all live in South Texas, but we are having some big allergy stuff right now with all the cedar, and it is driving me crazy. And a double crochet in the next chain. After, see, I did chain, right? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, so now we're going to chain again, and then we're going to do a little that little V stitch increase with the double crochet, chain, double crochet. So first I do a chain, and I start a regular double, do the full double, then I do a chain, and then another full double crochet in the same stitch to form that V stitch. There you can see it. All right, now we chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So I'm going to chain one, double on the next chain, chain one, double on the next chain. I think my yarn is wrapping around the camera. So I get it unhooked here. Okay, so now we're going to chain one again, and this time we're going to actually do the DC four together. That we remember over here, we instead of doing four, we had the chain three. But now we're going to do DC four together. This will even out the end of the row here. So first, I need to do a chain one, and then I'm going to, as I did before, start the bottom of four DCs. So I do do the first one. Go through two, yarn over, insert the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. I have three on the hook. Remember, for the DC four together, I'm going to need a total of five. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have five loops on the hook, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all five. 
And there you have the first row.